if you start the business, it's better to um, to survive in, in, in difficult times and then when there is a, a rebound, you are on the safe side. So Claude, tell us about this new venture, Fin News Asia. What does it offer? This is a financial website, uh, as we already have in Switzerland, finnews.ch, and now in uh, next step we have opened uh, the financial website finnews.asia, which is um, focusing on the financial activities in Singapore, in Hong Kong and all over Asia. Okay, and who are the readers? Who are you trying to attract? In fact, these are all the people working in the financial industry, working in banks, in insurance companies, in uh, fund companies. I think uh, there are probably more than half a million people that could read our website. And we know about all the different financial hubs. Why have you chosen Singapore? I think there are a lot of uh, points in common between Switzerland and Singapore. Both are small countries with uh, certain political stability, legal framework, but nevertheless also uh, Singapore is the hub for many Swiss banks and it's the, the regional centre for the wealth management industry and last but not least uh, the growth in banking is happening in this region of the world. And how exactly does FinNews.Asia work? How does it operate? Uh, we are completely focusing on the website. We are not uh, producing any magazine or print uh, publication. In, in addition to that, uh, we are uh, free access. That means everybody can go uh, on to this website. We don't have a paywall because we think that we can attract more people by giving free access and therefore have a higher traffic and so attract more advertisers as well. Yeah, for me that's absolutely key. I like to go and read <laughs> free of charge, but how will you stand apart from your competitors? So we put uh, focus on the content. Uh, we have a highly experienced team of journalists who work for quite a long time in this field and uh, we think that we can add to the information a certain value, we can comment and talk about what's happening and that's how we can uh, give the people more information through our website. Now we do know it's been an interesting start of the year, there's been a lot of market volatility, not least over that side of the world. Is it an interesting time to try and you know, venture over in Asia? Why, why now? I've been asked these questions already many times, especially in, in Singapore, as we were watching how the markets were coming down. But from a journalistic point of view, I think it's, it's the best time because you have a lot to write. And on the other side, I think that the people, especially in Asia, they are used to a certain market volatility. And uh, I think they have also a much more long-term view. And, and if there is something is going down, someday it will go up and if you start the business it's better to um, to survive in, in, in difficult times and then when there is a, a rebound you are on the safe side and you can go on quite uh, successfully. Okay well Claude it certainly does sound interest. We wish you the best of luck in the future. Thank you so much for coming in and telling us all about it today. Thank you Monica. OK, well, that's all from Cloud and myself for the moment, but there's plenty more coming your way on Ducoscopy TV, so make sure you keep on clicking back. Goodbye for now.